reactor that uses aluminium electrolysis to provide the materials for copper, iron and oxygen production through flash melting and the thermite reaction. Aluminium oxide, iron oxide and chalcopyrite will be what must be collected for production. Iron will make up the ferromagnetic cast iron rails needed for electromagnetic suspension, copper for power delivery, aluminium for construction. The supporting structure for the system will be made of 3D printed mercury and regolith, which is melted using microwaves. We chose to land at latitude minus 15, longitude 45, given the higher iron and moderate aluminium, uh, aluminium concentration. Cast containers will be made of the exterior metal plates of transport spaceships, one rocket contain one rocket providing enough for 14 casks. Each cask will be loaded in and out of the train system via a railed forklift system for speed and reliability. For emergency procedures, in the case of fire, oxygen will be vented from the cask. Derail derailment is almost impossible, and collisions or magnet failures would lead to functioning sections being decoupled and returning to the nearest mining station. The destination choosing system will be computer-orientated and will calculate the fastest route for all trains on the network. The train system will use electromagnetic suspension technology on two separate iron rails. Electromagnets will be placed in sets of five in a howlback array for up to two times stronger electromagnetic fields, reducing current needed by half and power by a factor of four. EMS was chosen for higher speed and efficiency than rail, but easier set up than EDS. Propulsion-wise, a linear magnet motor system will be used with two sets of electromagnets making up the base rail. This is less energy efficient, but it means permanent magnets do not need to be produced. The electromagnets in sections of rails will be powered selectively along the course of the rail, minimizing power needs. Power-wise, we'll use at least eight solar satellites with thermovoltaic arrays in equatorial orbit, at least 380 kilometers above the surface in order that so the power can be supplied constantly. Each panel will receive 11 um, to 5 kilowatt meters squared with a practical efficiency of 40%. A 1 megawatt hour battery on each satellite will be needed to store the energy provided um, for roughly 17.5 minutes in its orbit. An array between 24 meters squared to 8.5 meters squared will be needed to charge the battery in the 53 minutes of half an orbit, assuming 1 to 2 kilowatt tons of levitation. Each satellite will need 6, 780 kilograms or 6,340 kilograms of solar panels. For compaction, the solar panels will be arranged in a cylindrical drum configuration, inspired by the Mira fold configuration, which will have a maximum diameter of around 3 meters. Laser transmission through an aspheric lens which reduces beam divergence and infrared microwave frequencies. Designs vary between 60 meters um, squared to 1 meter squared for power collection plates. For cast light support systems, we will use lithium perchlorate for oxygen. Lithium hydroxide can also be used for carbon dioxide removal. Water will be stored alongside waste and life support systems in the 66 meter cube cavity between the cask and the cask container. 120 people can be supported in one cask, um, which could also be used as living quarters once insulated for further expansion of the mercury base. Thank you for taking your time to listen.